<clears throat> most viewers who watch slots channels like Brian Christopher and many others creating demonstration videos of my five spin method aren't doing so to learn anything about slots. What? It's true. They're online for the dopamine hit they get by living vicariously through uh, uh, by living vicariously through watching others play slot machines, which is fine in and of itself. It's just science. Uh, the heart wants what the heart wants, but where is the learning taking place? Not there. Slots education comes from my Professor Slots channel, website, podcast, etc. And frankly, nowhere else. Are you going to come visit, cat? My cat's come to visit. Uh, Emil's here, so his tail's in the way. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know you want the drink from my, my coffee mug, but you don't want that, trust me. Okay. All right? All right. Um, <laughs> awesome. Uh, and yeah, keep going. Keep moving, buddy. Um, so they're there to watch, get the dopamine hit, and that's that's fine. Uh, and uh, but Professor Slots is where you you get an education, uh, and frankly, nowhere else. Despite their shouting insistence from my students' channel, who a year ago asked me to be their co-host as their slots expert, I have the emails. So there are there is some slots education going on rather than none at all. Other slots, other YouTube channels demonstrating my five spin method are fantastic. I, I, I you know, and some casinos are filled with players who only use my winning slots strategy. I'm happy for them. They send me pictures of their successes with my strategies all the time. But as a business owner, I must ask myself the usual questions. How big is my potential audience? And how big is my actual audience? Uh, the largest creator of our in our slots niche is, is Brian Christopher Slots, who has 606,000 subscribers after starting his YouTube channel on June 17th, 2006. Uh, and uh, congratulations to Brian for coming up on your 17-year anniversary. <laughs> it's right there on, on the YouTube channel. Just go under about under the tabs on the, on, on the YouTube channels. Mine, theirs, whoever's. Uh, and my channel has 44,000 subscribers since I, oh, I started my channel Jan January 19th, 2018, or five years ago. And 44,000 subscribers divided by 606,000 subscribers means 7.3% of YouTube viewers in the slots niche are interested in slots education. So congratulations and well done to those watching this live stream now or its recording in the future. You're ahead of 92.7% of other slots players. That's just math. That's just math, dear slots enthusiasts. But honestly, I, I thought the YouTube uh, slots niche had more overall viewers than it actually does. On Facebook yesterday, I was watching a cat video when I noticed it had 34 million views and half a million reactions, uh, likes, smiley faces, all that. Wow. And I realized that all the slots channels combined are small, tiny. Our biggest creator only has 600,000 600, subscribers after 17, 000, 17 years and almost half a billion views, which would equal 13 of those cat videos I mentioned that came out two years ago. <laughs> um, uh, and, and please ask your questions. I'll, I'll get to them in a moment. Um, what all this means is that the slot snitch reaches a small audience. Um, Las Vegas hotel occupancy statistics from the Las Vegas Convention and Vis Visitors Authority. Uh, um, and can you see that? Is it a little too small? Maybe make it a little larger for you. Is 
um, uh, uh, shows 3.4 million viewers in April 2023, the most recent report available, of which 369,000 were attending a convention. That's 3 million non-convention visitors in, to Las Vegas alone in a single month. Compared to the roughly 300 new subscribers my YouTube channel gets every month. And that's okay. It's all right. I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate data. And maybe you do too. And because I'm a physicist by training. Morning, Alan. Uh, because I'm a physicist by training uh, with business and multiple engineering degrees tacked on top of it. Tacked on top of that. You can see it right over. There's my degrees as you may know. And because I have this physics training and business and multiple engineering degrees, uh, I adjust my understanding of how the world works based on good data. Uh, between you and me, I don't always have to like it. <laughs> and it's not particularly easy, but that's what scientists are trained to do. We follow the data. And the data shows you can win using slot strategies if your state gaming regulations allow your casinos to let you win. Again, this week, I'm so sorry, Mississippi and Pennsylvania. It sucks to be you. Um, maybe you should consider instead visiting Las Vegas a couple times a year. If you aren't following any of this discussion that I'm going through, that's fine. Certainly fine. But if you are one of the 7.3% of players who cares about learning to win at slots, even a little bit, then congratulations and well done. Go ahead and keep educating yourself with my free content on my YouTube channel, website, podcasts, and books on Amazon. Uh, some of you have been doing that since, I, since before I had a YouTube channel. Some of you uh, then found great success at playing slots, and I'm happy for you. But you can do even better with my advanced course, Slots Labs. This is my, let me bring this up. This is my uh, uh, six-week course, which includes weekly lessons on combining my strategies to do even better at slots, learning to walk away with your winnings, a huge topic discussed every week because of its importance, must hit by progressive jackpots and how to win them, and useful business skills for slots players, plus weekly group coaching to go along with those lessons and assignments. The, the next six-week class begins tomorrow. Uh, I only accept 20 uh, participants. Let me uh, share with you where to go. Um, uh, remember that coupon code there. You get 20% off. I'll come back to that again. Uh, and let me, if I go to, let me do this instead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if, if you go to my website, professorslots.com, you can see my mouse, right? Uh, and there's a little tab here called Courses Sign In. You go to that. And these are my courses, one of them is free. Uh, and uh, this is Slots Labs. It's the one that's being available now. Uh, it starts tomorrow. And uh, it, it is uh, beginning uh, June 4th. So there's actually a few hours left. Daylight time, daylight saving times really messes me up sometimes with these little timers. Uh, and this is the payment option. So this is before the 20% off. So if you go back to... Um, uh, here, you can read that 20% um, uh, coupon, coupon code. Right. So uh, the next six-week class begins tomorrow. I only accept 20 participants, and we still need a few more to fill the course. And because it is the last day, I'm giving you a 20% off coupon code shown in the screen right now. Good today only until midnight or sooner because once the course is full with its 20 participants, then registration is closed. I only offer this course a few times a year, so don't miss out or let somebody else take your seat. A lot more information than I've gone into today is available on the sign in sign up page at professorslots.com slash SL. Take a look and, and come to a decision. The cost is $797.60 after today's live stream bonus of 20% off 
after which it'll go back to its full price of $997. And there is an alternative payment option of three easy monthly payments. With that 20% off coupon code, that'll be $287.20 instead of the usual $359. And yes, that's a lot of money, but how much have you lost at slots in a month? Three visits each with $100 bankroll lost? Heck, that'll cover the cost of the course right there. And you're on. And if you're on my email list, you you've already received the first of three emails today, with more information on the course and why you should consider taking it. Later today, I'll send you answers to the most uh, most uh, often asked questions I get about the course. And then late today, one last chance to sign up, assuming that it's not full by then. Uh, but because you, you are a client, uh, these emails, uh, unless but unless you are a client, these emails don't include the, include the 20% off coupon code shown uh, during this live stream. Uh, make your choice. Are you 7.3% of slots players educating themselves to win at slots? Or are you the 92.7% of slots players that don't mind losing their bankroll so often? If the latter, you have my sincere thanks for keeping casinos open for the rest of us. Thank you. Uh, if you enroll or are one of the half dozen people who have already signed up, I'll see you there. I'm so looking forward to this next Slots Labs. The last two were so much fun. Um, be sure to like uh, this. Be sure to uh, like this video to help draw in more Slots enthusiasts by signaling the YouTube central server algorithms uh, like it's your favorite local casino. <laughs> the more the mer the more the merrier. Um, and I want to thank, uh, let's see here. I want to thank um, Magpie 11 for her donation. Uh, this is a super chat uh, Magpie has given us. Uh, and, and she says, winners have a good life slot balance. Always uh, excellent to hear from you, Magpie 11. Uh, thank you. And also then we have Chuck who says, Morning all, sunny in St. Louis. Uh, excellent. Um, and hi, Steve. Hi, uh, Mary Ellen. Hi, um, uh, Jennifer uh, J. Uh, thanks for becoming a new member. And uh, thanks uh, to my moderators for helping out today. Uh, and also uh, fun. Who says hi? Okay, so uh, oh, and, and good morning, Alan, as well, and and Susan, and and Cheryl. <laughs> it's great to, to great to have you all here. Okay, so the question um, I have from Magpie is: uh, Is the question uh, is the increase of triple accumulation? Machines, pots, firecrackers, just a way to get people to ch chase combo jackpots. Any stats on if people spend more dollars on these machines? Five spin or different strategy? Um, so, yeah, you, you, you've got it. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's all about the casino making money. They make mistakes, uh, but then they correct them. So then that's, that's our answer. This is, you know. I don't have internal numbers from uh, slot manufacturers on the performance of a particular machine. Uh, it exists, but I'm not going to be <laughs> getting my hands on that. Um, <coughs> but, but yes, uh, what we're seeing a lot lately, I mean, how boring is it to play physical real machines? I mean, I enjoy physical real machines, but when I start thinking about, you know, I, I, I had... Uh, one of my videos, demonstration videos on my five spin method, I think it was like uh, two weeks ago, yesterday. Um, it was 20 minutes long. Uh, first spin, first spin uh, uh, got five bonus games. The first bonus game went into uh, bonus rounds, and it ended up, you know, that alone was like 10 minutes, about seven minutes, something like that. Uh, and I was just like, it's not even on the second game. Uh, so... Uh, yes, uh, those items which are there for people to maybe get 
uh, be shown that they might get. And this is shown in the demo videos where you walk up to a machine, you haven't put any money in, and it's playing the demo. It's like the top jackpot winning, showing the top jackpot winning uh, while nobody's playing it, just to be like, it could be you. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. The, the you know, Cash Falls is a favorite machine of mine, not because I went I went on it, because I'm I I'm drawn to to this chasing wins uh it's not good for me um there's not an advantage you know you walk away i do i show this in my my demonstration videos where they they're trying to entice you the taste is not a monetary taste it's it's uh well you got two of the three symbols that you needed to go into the bonus round that was your taste uh non-monetary you know, uh, no, no, it, 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 your taste was the excitement. Congratulations. You know, I'm, I'm like, what is going on? It, it is some, you know, to entice people to get these things. Um, the stats are, was the machine removed? Uh, so, you know, every casino that you go to, uh, if, if you, if you see those machines stick around, that's because they're working, they're making money, they're successful. Um, so I, I do not have a slot machine uh, internal uh, finance reports, um, but then I don't need them because you can look at your casino and go, hey, it's sticking around. And it wouldn't stick around. It wouldn't be in a highly visible location if it wasn't um, uh, popular. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, do keep that in mind and, <laughs> and Chuck, why is it that you have, why is it that you have a, I, you can't, okay. Um, I can't see it on what I'm showing on the screen, but on my screen, you have a little star next to your name. <laughs> Maybe you're verified. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, uh, So if you get these new machines, how this works um, is that when you put it, when a casino puts in a new machine, they have a contract with the slot machine manufacturer. And often this contract, uh, it's, it's amazing how negotiated the, the casino floor is, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it is, you know, the realty thing, joke of location, location, location. The three most important things about real estate. You know, they fight over um, uh, where the machine should be placed, the best places for the machine to be placed. Uh, and as I was going over on a, on a tour in Reno uh, uh, um, it's of Silver Legacy, it's amazing where you can see where people are walking isn't necessarily the path. It's just kind of like a space between the machines where they coming around the corner from the escalator to the table games. And, you know, a lot of people walk there. Norm, you know, if you're if you're doing the highly visible locations, I've, I've always said, well, you know, find the widest aisle. But sometimes it's just like a walking path. Have you been to a university and there's all these concrete straight um, uh, walking paths and then there's what's called the rabbit trails where people diverge off of it before it gets to the corner and they cut the corner. <laughs> and so, um, uh, you know, these, this, this casino floor is, um, you know, there's competition from slot manufacturers with the casino and the casino is able to ri raise the price for that. But they, but the slot manufacturers ask for something in return in the contract saying for a limited time, we would like the odds to be a, a little better for that machine so that people have a good experience on it. So that the, the slot machine manufacturer can, can, you know, say, Hey, look how popular this, this machine is in their marketing data. Uh, and it, it's, it, if it sounds like it might be a little nefarious, uh, if you, if you work for a casino and you, that your job is to do these things, you do realize what they're doing with, with, by making that request, uh, it's a, it's a, a positive thing for you because they're paying you to make the odds better. Uh, but they're, they're, um, uh, 
shifting the statistics where they would later go to another casino and say, see, oh, well, it does be, because because it's popular, not because we raise the odds and people know that. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. You can tell the casino is not going to leave it there if it's not doing well. Yeah, simple. Uh, and hi, Susan. Uh, good morning from... Sunny Michigan. Uh, I remember uh, I grew up in Michigan, lived there the first 33 years of my life. And um, I remember one year, uh, summer, it was on a Tuesday. It's nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, and in Michigan, do you know the state bird? It's the mosquito. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I could go on, but this is not a comedy show. Um, so good morning, Alan. Uh, uh, Slots of Fun says, YouTube numbers are amazing. I have over 200,000 views, yet still just a seven, 777 subscribers after a here? year. Uh, uh, yeah, players players watch. And that's, and that's fine. That's... Guys, stop it. Yeah, where's that water coming from? Hey, okay. Uh, okay. In Slots Labs, we talk a little bit about why don't you have a Slots channel? Uh, it's every, everywhere you can record, there's a low barrier of entry, barrier of entry, which is a business saying, uh, and there are, there are things that you can do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but everything's small. I, I, I thought there would be more channels about each and every players club, each and every, um, you know, rewards club, every, every, um, you know, city, uh, what the, every casino, um, but, but uh, the market is not such uh, that it's like that. So, yeah, your numbers um, it can be shocking, but accept it uh, and fix it. Uh, yeah. We could talk sometime if you want to. Uh, it's lots of fun. Uh, hi, Cheryl. Um, <laughs> and, oh, it's lots of fun. Says here equals here. I, I do that myself. Uh, uh, Jennifer, uh, it's great to have you here. I'm glad that you're able to log in. I know you viewed in the past from uh, Western Australia, uh, and now you've got your login figured out, so you can chat. Um, excellent, excellent. I hope that was uh, what my advice to you. Um, uh, what happened in Michigan, Michigan, Mississippi, and Pennsylvania? It, it 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 didn't happen. It's always been this way. But people don't don't look. <laughs> so uh, I, I will I will share. Uh, if you go to uh, professorslots.com and you type in uh, slash m a. Well, let's see. I'll do um, online resource. And, and you'll see that I have 56 articles uh, on uh, one for every state, a U.S. state uh, 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 territory. Uh, some of the territories are great on, for slots. Um, uh, they, call, they call Northern Mariana, Northern Mariana Islands, uh, Mariana Islands, the um, Macau of the Mariana Stre uh, Trench. Uh, but then there's, um, and there's one federal district guys you're just running all over the place i guess it's summer okay so if we go to pennsylvania uh, all of these uh articles are structured they have the same sections but what's in the section depends on that gaming jurisdiction uh and uh so let's go down to the section here that would be uh, uh the last section before summary which is Theoretical payouts and return statistics in Pennsylvania. Right there. Can you see that? Maybe not. Let me um, make that bigger. There you go. The theoretical payout minimum 
this is a legal limit, not a legal setting, but a legal limit on the setting for slot machines in Pennsylvania is 85%. That's the minimum. The maximum is not to exceed 100%. And both of these apply to each, each and every single bet. So casinos are prohibited with by having a maximum theoretical payout limit. Casinos are prohibited from having a winning machine at the biggest intersection. Ouch. Casinos, you know, if they violate this um, and these things are checked at the, uh, by the gaming commission um, on the statistics from the machine, the uh, that is violated, then they have to pay a fee. And maybe they don't want to, maybe they do, uh, but then they can't offer winning machines like so many other states can. Nevada, you know, and so many. Other, and, and if you, it isn't the end of everything to have a maximum theoretical payout limit, but when it's for every bet, boom, you know, that's hard to work around. If it's over the lifetime of the machine, well, the machine may have been there for five years. And so the first two and a half years, it, it, it doesn't go over 100%, but the second two and a half years, it does. <laughs> so, you know, there's ways around over the lifetime of a machine, as long as you don't play new machines in those states. And my articles will go cover all of this. And in, Pens in, in Mississippi, we go back to Mississippi. Where are you, Mississippi? Right there. Again, same article. Uh, structure uh, and whatever they have uh, in that state. Um, and I'll just briefly run through some of this. It might be hard to see on a small screen. Uh, 27 casinos uh, uh, and another three tribal casinos. There's the map. Uh, that's where it is in the country. Um, and here uh, they have a maximum and minimum uh, uh, um, of 80% and 100%, and you want to take a look at Rule 12.5 of their minimum standards of gaming devices, uh, and I pro provide the link for that. So we can go to the regulations, um, and what was it? That was uh, uh, Rule Part 3, Rule 12.5, Part 3, Operations, uh, and what was the 12 point, Rule 12.5? Let's see if uh, these can be a little bit long, and uh, but I, I, you know, I'm not messing around here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go faster here. I think it's towards the bottom. Yeah, it's going to be. It's, these are many pages, but I've read them, uh, and uh, somebody has to, and I've done it for every state. And there's stuff to find. Uh, so it's that was rule eight. Let's go to rule 12, 12.5. Okay, just went past it. Twelve point five. Long section. Uh, and did I say A, B, C? I did not. Uh, yep. Um, which must not be less than uh, uh, eighty percent or greater than one hundred percent for each wager. Done. It restricts casinos. Next question. <laughs> I, I mean, this is this is not not hard, and and people in Pennsylvania and Mississippi may be shocked uh, that the, their casinos are prohibited from having winning machines. I mean, sure, you could go in and uh, make a bet, and you could win more than you just bet. Uh, that's always possible, uh, but you can't consistently win because you're using my strategies because they're prohibited from that. It's only luck-based wins only, not, not a strategy. Pennsylvania, Mississippi. Sorry. Uh, I always have to give the bad, bad news. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see here. Um, uh, and had the stream. Okay. Uh, uh, Slots of Fun says, but 
I win more from what I learn here and seldom watch Brian when I could be winning myself. Yeah. Yeah. And Royal Roy Joe says, uh, I got a taste. Good. Uh, Susan says, I can attest. Uh, Slots Labs is often uh, awesome and helped me become a better player. Uh, and um, do I have that? I might have that. Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> Don't take too long, John. So, yes, there we go. So, um, this is something uh, Susan told me during the feedback. Um, a quote uh, from Susan. Uh, slots Labs allowed me to take a deeper dive into my slots play and understand the benefits of being honest about my slots goals and applying tried and true methodologies to help me become a better slots enthusiast. I've had more successful casino visits leaving with money since taking slots labs. Uh, you post, uh, Susan posts on my Facebook group for Michigan slots enthusiasts and also for my primary, my primary um, uh, group, Professor Slots Enthusiasts. I would show you, but if you're not a member, uh, it's private group. Uh, so uh, I'm not gonna show you in case you're not a member. Uh, uh, and you can see her wins there yeah. and her cruises <laughs> or mention over cruises. Uh, yeah. Uh, so thank you. Um, I was hoping that you were going to be here today, Susan. Uh, and um, so let's see, where are, where are we at? Questions, questions, questions. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I, I I see an answer to one, one of my questions. Um, <laughs> uh, questions from Joanne. Uh, is it possible to do the prerequisite class quickly to join uh, Slots Labs course? Yes. Yes. Easy answer. Uh, I was... Just thinking that if I put money I lost on slots into your program, I could get valuable info that would not help me, that would not help me win more. I could get valuable info that would help me win more? Hmm. Uh, I see a knot in there. Double negatives. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. High cost dopamine hits with no return. Yeah. Uh, sometimes the reward for slots, often the rewards for slots. I mean, that's one of the things that we go into uh, in slots labs is are, are you, are you, how are you doing? You know, what's going on? How are you, you know, why? Somebody asked me once, you know, could you teach physics to high school students? And I'm like, well, I teach physics to first year, you know, freshmen in college. Sure. I mean, if they haven't had the math, then I need to simplify it so they, you know, can't tell them things that they don't know uh, regarding the math because, you know, physics isn't the language of math. Um, but yeah, I could I could teach them. And they're like, and it made me realize that, you know, all this teaching that I'm doing, it doesn't seem to be sticking as well um, without having something like Slots Labs. Uh, just to have these live streams, it doesn't seem to be sticking as well as I'd like. And I was a little bit kind of like, what's going on when I can teach high school students physics? Why can't I teach adults um, how to win more at slots? I do it myself. What, 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 you know, I am not only, uh, you know, uh, the president of the company, but I also, am, uh, <laughs> you know, have, have, uh, uh, use it, the, the content myself. And as you see in my demonstration videos, and I began to realize that it's like I'm trying to teach people that are high. I can teach physics to high school students, but could I teach physics to high school students that were high? Um, you know, when you go to the casino, you're being impacted by that whole environment and your brain chemistry changes. Hey, it, I'm, it, it's not opinion, it's science. And, you know, knowing that that is happening is just, um, you know, amazing. Yeah. Amazingly helpful. 
Uh, the star is that we support the channel. Uh, it's a different star, actually, um, that I saw. Uh, and I kind of wonder, I'm using a different um, software package to send this live stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. I'm not using the YouTube live <laughs> technology isn't it great uh so some for some reason i got a, a, a star there uh and i'll have to check out um maybe what what it means sometime uh and jan has a uh, jane has a comment twice this week i had a minimum maximum win on minimum bet per being familiar with the game 150 times a 20 cent bet 30 dollars i did not walk away shame on me ah see uh 125 bonus spins was entertaining yeah it can be entertaining sometimes that's all you get lately uh with those changes that are coming out uh frenzy says got my second hand pay congratulations uh recently using stra two strategies uh thanks professor sending a donation into your cash app uh thank you uh so much and you have uh and i got two notifications so two two other people do that um, let's see here, make sure I uh, give credit where credit is due. Um, thank you so much for your donation, Frenzy. Um, and let me give you a little, <laughs> thank you. It's very much appreciated. How does the five spin method actually work? Um, so it's complicated. Uh, if you're a newbie, uh, make five spins. If you win anything at all, including less than it, what you bet, walk away. If you're an advanced user, all things are all kinds of things are happening. I don't know which one you are, uh, because you are only making up to five bets. That's a preserving gains, money management technique. Because you're walking away when you get a win, it's a loss limit money management technique, and you need to have at least some preserving gains money management technique and some loss limit money uh, bankroll management technique. Uh, and so I've snuck that in just by saying, hey, five spins, leave if you win on, on the first spin, which I often do uh, on my demo videos, uh, 20 machines, I think maybe three of them, four of them, uh, I go to five bets, and otherwise it's less than that. And most of them are actually on the first spin. Yeah. Uh, the deeper, uh, nay, uh, if you're asking about uh, how do probability distributions work, uh, how they switch, um, slot machines have several settings. And one of those settings, which all of these settings can be adjusted uh, from the central server, uh, there's a legally protected portion of uh, a slot machine, and that's the game theme. But outside of the game theme, uh, acting as inputs is what is the payout. Uh, the slot machine people, there's terrible internet uh, advice out there saying, oh, the slot machine manufacturer um, uh, sets, uh, you know, determines the win percent on a game. And I'm like, yeah, you mean in Italy? <laughs> For every I, every state? What the heck are you even talking about and uh it's just you know rumors to kind of like feed uh um tell people what they want to hear uh so uh one of the settings is a theoretical payout but one of the other settings if you don't have that per wager uh number there um uh, one of the other settings is to give the the random distribution of those wins and there might be like six different a payout, a theoretical payout settings provided by slot machine manufacturers, up to six uh, that are provided uh, for each slot machine. Um, but then there's something like 30, 60 of these random distributions. Um, and uh, that, that must exist because without them, everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, so uh, it is not as equally likely to have uh, win zero as it is to win the top jackpot. You can understand that easily, right? So, uh, you know, what's the curve on the d probability distribution? And and that's a little bit more calculus. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
And uh, Robert says, and similar question, uh, hey, Professor Slots, uh, do you know anything about Wade uh, wheels on slots and what does it do? Um, so uh, if you have, um, everybody knows average, the word average, and maybe knows what the concept means. There's something called a, I mean, if you have a, a dice, a die, six-sided die, it's equally likely to land on any side. Uh, if you have a weighted average, it's more likely to land on one or more sides than it is on the others. And that's just what I was just talking about. You can't have the same odds of winning for zero or a cherry minimum you know win than than you do for the high limit or for, excuse me for the for the high jackpot the top jackpot um it, it these are weighted but using the word weighted is kind of like the non-calculus way of describing statistics which is <laughs> uh, uh slot machine manufacturers are hiring mathematicians if you're a mathematician get a job at a slot machine manufacturer and you know what i mean they are not uh avoiding calculus so weighted averages um are uh, uh is an easy way uh, to, to an easy way to to do um, uh, uh, um, to explain without much math the concept from statistics that's put in place, but the actual machine uses calculus, probability distributions, and it's not that hard to learn. But I, I wish that like slot machine. Uh, statist statisticians, uh, professors of st uh, statistics would like say, want to win at slots? Take our statistics course. Uh, got Get a lot more people, but perhaps that would not be uh, appropriate. <laughs> I, I hope that answers your question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there uh, is a lot of, Robert, there's a lot of information that comes from table games that is misused with slots. If you're thinking about uh, a weighted roulette table, that's really bad. Even if, if, if it's accidental, that's still really bad. Um, where it's not level, not set to be level, then it prefers a certain um, uh, result. Uh, and that's all, uh, you know, terrible. Uh, and so if you're thinking of that when you talk about slots, uh, I think I got the question right. You only have 200 characters to work with, so I understand that it's sort of like, how do I ask my question in, such, in two lines? Okay, Flip. Hey, Flip. Good to see you, Flip. Question. I'm experimenting with a number of line plays played and bets per line. It appears many routinely play all lines, but I'm surprisingly had success, uh, decent hits, playing less lines. Any thoughts? I do this. I do this all the time. I mean, we want to. It's all. It's it's all kind of like. Um, it's all kind of like uh, we want to um, uh, uh, chase wins. We want to, uh, you know, do the next thing. And it's and I I, I give a I give an annual survey and I say, what is the one thing that you would uh, uh, think that would help you win more often at slots. And they said, if only we had more money. I'm like, what? Yeah, if we could bet more, we'd win more. I'm like, are you winning now? And they're like, no. Then how come you think that you would win if you had more? You'd just lose it, just like you're doing now. Right. And they're like, what are you even talking about? I'm like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we want to make maximum bets because we're chasing that win. Uh, and casinos know that. I've played a winning machine uh, for an hour at minimum bets and my bankroll went up. And then for half an hour. Uh, this was at Hollywood Lawrenceburg by a machine that uh, had a direct view of the cafe where people were sitting, open cafe. Uh, and I, I, and I, I, I thought, well, I could be making money here, but I'm supposed to be helping you. I don't have a video of it because they didn't give me permission to record Ohio, Indiana. Hmm. So glad that I have that now and here in Nevada. 
uh, and so uh, I decided to continue to play, but I decided to change my bet to a mid-level bet from 90 cent minimum bets to $2.70 minimum bets, medium bets, excuse me, and did that for half an hour. I won just as often, but not as much, if that makes sense. I uh, ended up, instead of increasing my bankroll with minimum bets, I was breaking even. Uh, I had enough wins for enough amount that I didn't, my bankroll didn't go down. It just sort of hovered there, which is a great thing to do uh, to, you know, go up in, in tier points uh, in your rewards club. But then I thought, okay, after half an hour, I will switch over to um, uh, uh, maximum bets, do that for half an hour, and my bankroll went down, and that was $4.50 bets. So I was win winning uh, $20 every few bets uh, with my minimum bets. I think it was like every... 10, 15 bets, I'd win 20 bucks uh, and minimum bets. And when I was doing medium bets, it was 10, 15 bets and I'd win something. And on maximum bets, uh, every 10, 15 bets, I'd, I'd, I'd win something. But 90 cents uh, times five is $4.50. Max, minimum bets, maximum bets, five times the difference. Uh, and instead of winning $20 at maximum bets, uh, you'd think I'd be winning a hundred bucks, but instead I was winning like $34 every 10 to 15 bets. And so I was losing money. That's been my experience. I, I need to go to more casinos and play minimum bets and maximum bets and <laughs> lose money. I'm sorry. I'm just going to win now <laughs> and, and lose money to be able to point out that, you know, that if you don't do both, you don't know which one's better. Yeah, yeah, uh, please experiment and let me know. Linda, question. If you have a $600 bankroll, how much would you start with in high limit or non-high limit? Or do you use the five spin method on different spin choices of five cent, 10 cents and more? Um, if you have a $600 bankroll, that's a lot. You may not uh, need to use all of it. I would consider putting in $20 at a time. That's a loss limit strategy. Um, uh, and uh, or five dollars at a time, a bunch of fives, uh, and depending on how much you bet, <clears throat> five dollars for low limit, twenty dollars for a high limit. If you make five dollar bets, uh, and uh, then pop out your your uh, voucher at the end if you have anything left, and and collect those vouchers. Yeah, uh, so that's a a money management strategy. Uh, <clears throat> if you have six hundred dollars. Uh, Without my strategies, you go to high limit with 2,000, 3,000, and maybe you win. Maybe you don't win. But with my strategies, you can go to high limit if your casino has the five spin method that gives out tastes. Uh, you can get by with 500 bucks. Uh, but please go to low limit and assess your casino. Uh, not only the casino, this this is the advanced stuff that I was talking, uh, going to talk about, hadn't talked about on the five spin method. If you're a newbie, you know, five spins, up to five spins, you know, and good luck with that. But it takes all of a hot minute to then be an advanced user of my five spin method. And so you, it's a, assess, a casino assessment tool and it's a slot machine assessment tool. Uh, so uh, minimum bets on all the machines, see how it's going. If it's not a good time, I have demonstration videos where it's like, well, I lost money today. And at that time, at that casino, on that day of the week. So don't come back at that time at that casino on that day of the week. Try another time. Then the day of the week. Another casino. Uh, and, uh, you know, you track these things down. Um, yeah, you can do uh, one of the demonstration videos I'd like to do is is to go to a multi denomination machine, do the five spin me method on one cent, two cent, five cent, 10 cent and cycle through them, each one doing the five spin method to determine which one's better. And if it's not really obvious, go to another machine. 
But if it is, you do find, well, that one obviously is giving me better results, and you switch from the five spoon method to my tough love approach. Yeah. Uh, Denise says, I am sure you answered this before, but I'm asking, does the amount you bet affect the payroll payout? The amount you bet. Um, well, there's two ways to determine to change the amount that you bet. One is to change the number of credits, and the other is to change the denomination. It is documented uh, in the 20 states that provide return, uh, the, the five states that provide uh, monthly return statistics by slot machine denomination that the year average, we can, you know, if you wanted to go to uh, no, uh, Nevada, you could see the year average for. Um, uh, penny slots is like the worst out of all of them for the year on, you know, many, many, many slot machines on the Las Vegas strip. Uh, I've shown that before. Uh, do you need me to show it now? Uh, we could go to Lachlan instead. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, if you change the denomination, it can be different and probably is, uh, each payout the payout for each denomination, the theoretical payout setting uh, has to be different. It, it can be different for every denomination. It is set individually. Okay. Now, whether you're betting on uh, uh, penny slots, 88 cents versus $8.88, and 80 cents, that uh, we were just discussing, I found that minimum bets make money and maximum bets don't. That's what I found. But but again, this needs to be tested a lot more places. Um, I wish there was more documentation about it. But um, as a physicist, I like the rules so I can figure them out in, in the loopholes. But as an engineer, uh, what works, works. There's power in that. Uh, Frenzy has, has a question. In Lachlan, when you actively playing slots, the waitress gives you free alcoholic drinks. <laughs> I remember that used to be a lot more common. Is it calculated in their player return statistics? Well, uh, how how are you winning? How are you doing when you play slots after having an alcoholic drink? I don't think that you're as good. But then if you're just like pushing buttons and not even talking, you know, just kind of like looking around, uh, that's probably going to be the same. <laughs> but if you're one of the, uh, the 7 uh, 7.2, uh, was it 7.2, 7.3% uh, of people, 7.3% of people who are actually thinking, I mean, Flip shared with us that, you know, is it supposed to be kind of like, a lot of thinking involved uh, to walk out with thousands of dollars. Uh, yeah, you know, it's no such thing as a free lunch. And I know that's kind of ironic to be able to to say no such thing as a free lunch because you know we get free lunches. But but uh, so they give alcoholic drinks uh, because, like anything else, state law allows them to do that. Uh, and it doesn't hurt their return statistics. They can't give out alcoholic drinks if it's against the state laws, statutes. Uh, and there's plenty of casinos that are like, man, I wish we could just give out free alcoholic drinks because that was that was that was the golden years. <laughs> we really did great then. Uh, Velvet Duke, um, <laughs> thank you for making the three body problem Joe uh, mention uh, here in super chat. He says, "Keep it up." Uh, uh, th thank you so much. I don't think I asked uh, you, uh, and I won't say your name, but um, <clears throat> you know, thank you for the the the, the selfie uh, in Reno uh, when you were here a week, last week, uh, and. Um, uh, uh, great uh was it last week might have been this week the long week um i had my first nevada earthquake on th on uh thursday night uh 3.8 epicenter was 30 miles away uh haven't been in a uh, been in an earthquake <laughs> since um uh, Connecticut in 2011, and even then, uh, that earthquake was 5.8, and it was uh, located 430 miles away in Virginia on the other side of the Washington, D.C. 
Uh, Joanne says, uh, just signed up for Slots Labs, but need to do prerequisite class. How do I access it? Uh, well, you wait for the live stream to end, and then I send you an email. <laughs> Sorry, uh, anybody interested in being my assistant? <laughs> Uh, I'll get that on that. I'll get on that um, uh, soon, uh, uh, soon uh, within a few minutes of this. Um, and th and thank you. See, that's a smart. She's a smart one. Uh, uh, oh, you all are. I I love you all. Um, uh, and conversation with Jan. Uh, hey, dude uh, says I am coming to Reno. Where can I watch you play? I go incognito. If you would like to meet, uh, uh, you know, send me an email, uh, and I'll be happy to like give you a tour of your um, favorite casino. I did that for Velvet Duke. Uh, it's a paid service, uh, and you know, feel free to uh, have your winnings. Um, I. Um, it's not very exciting. I need to hold my camera and then record. I don't go to casinos uh, where I don't record unless it's for these paid tours where I explain how to win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, Professor, to confirm tribal strategy can uh, work with lesser bets. Yeah, yeah. I. I uh, it, we don't want to. We wish it didn't. Uh, but then, you know, why would we wish it didn't? How programmed are we by the casino marketing? Uh, yeah, winning is winning. It might take longer, uh, but you know, coming in with a hundred bucks and leave with three hundred is is once we get out of the casino, we realize how wonderful a feeling that is. Yeah. After you finish playing the five stream method, do you come back and play the same machines that gave you tastes? Um, what I'm doing now on my demonstration videos is uh, um, I'm trying to do uncut. Uh, I had some questions, comments about, oh, you edit out long sections. I do not. I have a 40 minute video of just constantly recording. And when I go for a long walk between two machines, because I have to go by the buffet, I will scurry myself along at, at five times the speed, but I won't cut it. And people seem to need to, to, to see that because there's so many slots channels out there that, that, uh, you know, they cut out long losing streaks. And I'm just like, this is what I'm doing and nonstop. And I'll not bore you by walking across the casino, looking with the camera pointed at the floor and I'll be, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then I'll be, there, I'll be there. So, um, but before that, I was doing one machine at a time, and I'd do fifty of them, uh, and uh, I would show each one in a different video. But that really wasn't working out. But that's great because I stopped the video when I finished playing the machine, and if I won big on it, then I would be able to switch to the tough love approach. So uh, I haven't yet decided how to do that um, on the machines that I'm doing with the uncut videos because I'm like, it's the five spin method, except for the part where I was doing tough love demo and then back. And then, you know, it gets to be confusing. So I'm starting small, just sort of like putting these out here um, uh, to help people, but then I'm going to get things a little more complicated and we'll see how popular those videos are. Yeah. Uh, Linda says, thank you for answering all our questions. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to. Uh, and, uh, uh, I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm not making you pay for it or anything else. Um, and I'm not attacking you, uh, for your beliefs. Um, like I see, I get a lot of emails from people like, wow, you know, that was personally attacking me for asking a question on other, uh, slots channels. And, uh, it just makes me so sad. Um, yeah, um. I'm, I'm here for you. I have been here for a long time, five years. Uh, this is my, is it 201, 202-ish, um, ish, ish uh, live stream. And I answered the questions the whole time, except in the first one. I think the first live stream was like five minutes long. And I'm like, I'm doing live streams now. Anybody? Anybody? No? Bueller? Bueller? Okay, bye. 
uh, and but everything else had questions, has had questions. During the pandemic, it was fun. Um, people were like, so what happened? And how is things going to be when we get back? And is casinos going to open again ever? And yeah, yeah. Ah. I, I figured out that star uh, magpie. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, it's a, a, a service. Um, uh, okay. Question from Flip. Didn't do a good job tracking taxes last year and paid quite a bit back to the IRS. I know you went from like a couple dozen hand pays to like over 150, maybe 200. Um, you're welcome. But uh, we did talk about taxes when I saw you at Winstar. We did talk about that and how concerned I was for you being a non-resident of Oklahoma and Oklahoma's laws for non-resident gamblers, uh, how there's a cap on the state um, uh, amount that can be a gambling deduction. And, uh, just, you know, we, we, we've had sincere conversations. Um, would, will your tools allow me to track in real time where uh, I am? So <clears throat> I have uh, templates, uh, spreadsheet templates, and then I have an explanation of those uh, for $17. And if you want the course, uh, which if I go back here um, to professor the professorslots.com courses, uh, there is a course here, uh, Seven Gambling Record Secrets, all true, $37. Uh, this comes free with Slots Labs. Uh, one of those things, um, Joanna, that you'll be getting uh, but once I get the email out after this, um, and uh, when you go into this, you'll get my spreadsheet templates. Now, there's a lot of different things that people don't have Excel, maybe, or Microsoft Office. And so, uh, uh, and maybe I should make that like really big there. See, seven gambling secrets, and it's $37. Uh, and that's. Uh, Yes, and, and so that comes with Slots Labs, uh, and um, you get you get that. So <clears throat> your questions, will it help me track in real time where I am? Uh, you'd have to enter the data. Real time in real time is a serious thing. Uh, that day is not real time. That minute, that second is real time. Uh, so I considered having a phone app. Uh, and don't, but you can get Microsoft Excel, or used to be able to, you have to Google it, see what's going on right now. You can get Microsoft Excel, the Microsoft Office, for your mobile phone, phone if it isn't like a, a large iPad. You can get the small iPads, but not the large iPads, and it might be possible to get that for Android as well, which means then you can type in the numbers as you play. And that's real time. Uh, but a lot of data isn't necessarily a lot of good data. Um, I prefer doing, and IRS says, by day, provide the date and the casino. So if you go to two different casinos, you have two different entries. Uh, I find that is both enough and <clears throat> I put the time of the day on it. Uh, in case I go back to the same casino twice in one day, uh, so I know which on which one I won. Pardon me, I I should. <clears throat> I I get to talking for a long time, and I my my mouth gets dry, my throat gets dry. Uh, so real time, it's 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 labor intensive uh, for you, but you can uh, use my templates on your phone. Uh, uh, but you have to find out how to get Mo uh, Microsoft Office if you haven't paid for it. Uh, recording everything is something that online slots does, but every bet, the results of every bet, what combination you got, what real combination you got for every bet, uh, that is um, problematic for uh, brick-and-mortar casinos. Uh, I do prefer to keep uh, track per visit. Steve says, on the five spin, can, can this change on a daily basis, like work on Friday and not on Saturday? Um, yeah, work on, in the morning on Friday and not in the afternoon, or usually more the other way around because all this is planned. It's budgeted. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's up to the individual to check to see what's going I mean, 
if you were playing, if I was to teach you card counting on blackjack, it would work anywhere as long as the table had the same layout for bets as every other table. Uh, so it would work in every state as long as the game rules were identical because the game rules for table games come from or is, is where the odds come from. And so if you, you know, poker, craps, uh, if there was anything to teach you, you can go from state to state to state to state as long as the game rules hadn't changed. I mean, if you go from Texas Hold'em to four car four car four card stud you know that's changing the poker game uh but if you stick with the same poker game then everywhere play it on the moon for all i care uh it, it, it would have the identical odds but the same is not true for slots and within a state as we saw with the game rules for pennsylvania and mississippi uh being you know per wager not over 100 percent ouch uh but other states don't have that and so it depends on the state gaming regulations. It depends on your state, and it depends on the casino and what their budget is. Yeah, and people are like, "Well, they don't plan out every bet." You're right; <laughs> they don't plan out every bet. They they set limits so statistically they get the financial results that they want. Uh, statistics. I've had so many of those. Uh, Walking out with winnings is a payment for your efforts. <laughs> Think, win, leave. Yeah. Think, win, leave. New mantra. Uh, nice, as Serena C says. Uh, Chris H says, I'm a gutter roller, one cent to 75 uh, cent bets. I'm exper experimenting with less than max bet lines, reels, or games. Uh, I came home with $10 profit from a three-day trip to Cushada this last week. Fun trip. Right? I mean, that may not seem impressive to everybody else, but it's impressive to you. It's impressive to me. You broke even. Oh, my God. <laughs> well done. You know, the, the, there's so many people out there, the 92.7% of, of people out there who play slots that aren't my audience that are just like, you break even? What the heck? <laughs> uh, Frenzy says, science question for a physics teacher. What are your thoughts on the James uh, Webb telescope? I think it's awesome. Um, uh, it's exploring the universe in ways it, it can't be ex uh, can't be explored. Uh, when I was a um, in physics graduate school, they also had an astronomy department, and uh, one of the telescopes that Iowa State University had available was part of WET. WET is Whole Earth Telescope. So when the Earth rotates uh, and whatever can't be seen anymore because it's on the other side of the planet. Uh, those satellites continue the observations uh, so that uh, it's these 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 stars, constellations, galaxies, whatever, are being watched 24-7 instead of just during the nighttime at your university. Uh, and uh, that was a phenomenal, you know, the internet became available to be able to do this and all these connections you see sometimes in the sci-fi movies. Uh, and then, you know, but it's still going to be located on Earth and going through um, air vapor and, it, you know, the atmosphere. Uh, there's some fixes that came out for that, uh, uh, which are very interesting. I'd love to tell you about them, uh, but this, this is the wrong channel for that. Um, but the James Webb telescope is in orbit, not only in orbit, but I think it's like halfway around the Earth's rotation or Earth, Earth, Earth's uh, revolution around the sun. So it's not even kind of like around the Earth with because Earth's atmosphere kind of like goes out past the moon. It gets really, 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 really thin, but it, nevertheless, it does. And so you want to be outside of all that. And you want to be able to watch something 24-7. And uh, James Webb is doing that. It's always advance, 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 advance. 
and and good morning, Tom. And uh, fun and Serenity are talking about do a video game that are all cats and leap with the winds. <laughs> Is that a tail up cat? Yeah. Uh, Tom, do newer casinos operate tighter than established ones? If you go to the gaming statistics um, for these sorts of things, and let me share... I have done that uh, for some states. There's uh, there's 20 states that provide monthly return statistics, seven of which uh, do break, break down by slot machine denomination, and I'm working my way through them. Uh, and one of the ones is early in the alphabet, Delaware. And I think we should be able to show you uh, what that looks like. Let me make myself a little small so you can read all this. And we'll go to Delaware. Uh, slots, just as an example, turn to player. All right. Yes. Uh, and there is a graph here. Um, there's also a video on, on YouTube. But there is a graph here, which I want to show you uh, right there. And let me make that bigger. Okay. So uh, in Delaware, there are three casinos. Uh, over time, their names have changed. Um, and uh, right here at the beginning, uh, in uh, beginning, end of 1995, beginning of 1996, three all three casinos opened within six months of each other. Uh, the first casino to open was uh, um, uh, Delaware Park, and it chose to start low, not real low, but decided to in start well, fairly high, really, uh, and then go higher. Uh, and But then uh, within a month, I don't remember exactly which one opened, Harrington, no, uh, Bali's Dover or Delaware Park, which one opened first, but it was only a few weeks later, uh, Bali's Dover decided to open and they started really low and they went up, but it took them, what, 10 years to get anywhere close to Delaware Park. Uh, yet, six months later, Herring Harrington opened and they started high, but then they dropped. Start high to get a good reputation, to be better than the others. Uh, with that initial impression, uh, people, uh, you know, got that first impression. It was solid, and they they stopped. Uh, they, they 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 stopped checking, and they said, "Okay, this is my casino." And they went as low as Bali's Dover was when they opened. And it took, you know, till when, uh, two thousand. 20, uh, maybe 2019, um, uh, 23, 24 years before they were all sort of like having the same results. This is not odds. This is a business plan. What can I tell you? Yeah, so uh, newer casinos make a decision. They've already made a decision if it's opened. Uh, and, um, you know, you can check some of the states which have these return statistics to see what their decision was. Uh, yeah, was, uh, some start low, go high six months later. So sometimes the best time to go is six months later. Other times, you know, the, the first month was good and forevermore it was bad. Uh, if you go to professorslots.com, uh, you would like this. Yeah, you might like this. If you go to professorslots.com, go all the way to the bottom on any page, as featured on ABC Channel 27 News, this is Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, the local uh, ABC uh, News channel. This is me talking to the anchors and the anchors talking to each other. You might want to go take a look at that. Um, uh, they, they're, they were worried about their local casino, Penn National, uh, and uh, they took my advice, looked at all the return statistics, and and just boom, you know, they, they were shocked to find uh, that how low they were, 
uh, and uh, it's been that low since they opened. But when the first month that they opened, that was awesome. <laughs> and it's like they do that, and I'm like, they do that. Uh, and and Magpie Eleven says I have casinos take out thirty percent out for uh, federal income tax for all pan pays. Um, uh, 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 Chris says uh, Professor Slot's course helped me realize my Slot's enthusiast goal: entertainment. Uh, which hey, I, I I'm just asking you to ask yourself. <laughs> I'm not you know judging you. Uh, entertainment, great. Uh, it helped me. I've, I've, I went with my internet lawyer. I went with my lawyer to uh, an Ohio casino because he was like, "Well, we can do that too." And he, I said, "So, are you? What kind of goal do you have? Um, the most common being making money, uh, getting comps or, or entertainment." He says, "Oh, I'm totally into making money. I'm into making money." And we went, and he was totally into entertainment, but you couldn't tell him. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of self-awareness, uh, understanding what your goal is to, so you can get to your goal. Yeah. Help me turn big losses into smaller ones or wins with more enjoyment. I'm so happy for you. Uh, Pintaplex says, uh, that's great. It goes totally against the random theory of breaking even by having a plan. Um, yeah, if you, the casinos have a plan. Uh, if you go to... Uh, um, let's see here. Uh, I'll, I'll show, I mean, it, the problem with people using the word random is they don't know what random means. Uh, and why should they? I mean, it requires a statistics <laughs> and, and, we, and nobody wants to take statistics. Like I said, uh, uh, statistics professors should be like, you want to win at slots? Come take my class. Um, uh, so if you go to, uh, uh, and I'll make myself small again here. Maybe not that small. Maybe I'll make it that small. Uh, and if you go to Nevada's uh, return to player and you look at uh, the, the the graph here, uh, I didn't do all 25, 27 districts uh, in Nevada, which are provide, for which they individually provide return statistics. They did, did, just did six of them, ones I was interested in, not knowing the results uh, in advance. And downtown Las Vegas Strip, Reno, Sparks, Wendover, and uh, the Jackson Jackpot area, which is a border town. And this is um, 2001, 2002, 2000, uh, 2020, excuse me, 2021, 2022, uh, and so a little bit of 2023, three years and change. And this is the decisions across the top here that Reno, Sparks, and um, Wendover have chosen to do. And downtown and Las Vegas Strip are way down here. You can practically see daylight in between the two, uh, way down here. Um, and, uh, you know, you might say, eh, it's only a couple of percentage points. Well, a couple of percentage points, two point two and a half percentage points of improved uh, slots odds is worthy of doing a backflip just to help calibrate you. Uh, and so, um, yeah, downtown uh, goes up and down, and they're just basically following the crowds. Uh, and, and Reno, Sparks, and Wendover are, like, really solid. But they do have these bumps here. And look. What month would you happen to notice that these are? Oh, January. 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 <laughs> uh, and even here, January uh, is up uh, uh, total. Um, and so, yeah, this is, this is not random. This is a business plan. Uh, random is more complicated than people. I mean, I don't mean to make it complicated for you, but it's not that complicated. It's just, I try to tell people it's like a car starter. What starts your car? If it's ice, uh, internal combustion engine, what starts your car? Well, people would say the starter. And I'm like, so you have an engine, right? Yeah. Fuel? Yeah. Fuel pump? Yeah, battery, yeah, uh, switch, yeah, computer, yeah, timing belt, yeah, and those start the car too, right? <laughs> and they're like, 
So when you say random and people say random number generator, I'm like, it's part of an overall system and it's vitally important, but it's not that big of a deal. It has one job uh, and people think it has, it's everything. And in fact, it's just one small part. And that difference is uh, so, so hard to explain. Uh, because there's plenty out there on the internet that just doesn't tell you these things, they are, are not educating you. Yeah. Uh, it gets a little upsetting when I see bad education out there. And there's, I'm, my job, it's not my job to police the internet. I'm not skirking the responsibility. I'm just saying, okay, if you really want to know what's going on, here you go. Uh, Go see for yourself from these gaming reports. A uh, question from Maria. Uh, when do you think that online casino for the state of New York will be available? I live in Queens. Um, uh, state law, you know, well, uh, is, is it going to be on the ballot? Uh, uh, if you, you know, might check to see if it's going to be on the ballot for November. Uh, I try to understand when things come out, not so much. So will it, you know, the, the, it's like the classic example is Texas. Oh, John, when will they have regular casinos? I don't know. You know, they're, they're under negotiations and the negotiations are very insider. Seems like they're coming to a head. Uh, so to answer your question, looks like they will eventually become available. A lot of uh, states are offering this now. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, if you sign up for my email, email list, uh, there is a, uh, a newsletter that, um, sends out, you know, updates on every state and every subtle change. It opened this casino. It does this now HHR machines and, and, and all of that. And if, and that's one of the things that I uh, point out to maybe be a good resource for finding out what's going on. I mean, I wish slots channels were bigger as i talked about at the beginning of the show i wish slots channels were bigger um, because you know everybody would have a channel on their state uh, i have to cover all the states because nobody else does <laughs> and i'm like but i really like spreadsheets and i wish i could just do that no no john you gotta be you gotta tell everybody everything uh okay you know because Fine, be that way, uh, because we're all small, and there's not enough people. Start a podcast about your channel. Question, uh, uh, A.K. Asta. Hi, Asta. Uh, thanks for Saturday live stream, as it's like a review that keeps me on track. Uh, people who have been with me a long time find this as supportive. Uh, uh, these are community events. People say you could say this in four minutes, and I'm like, yeah. But we get together and we're talking. Uh, and that is what a community event is. The uploaded videos, um, every one of my live streams will eventually, uh, the topic that I cover at the beginning will eventually be a four minute, eight minute video. And I do the live stream to see which ones, I sh what order I should do them in by popularity. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, Serenity says, I second that. Uh, it's like a refresher course with nuggets of new information. Yeah, thank you both. Uh, Cheryl, hi, Cheryl. Uh, Hollywood Casino in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is my local casino. Okay, yeah. Horrible for payout unless you are in the high uh, limit room. I drive to Hollywood Casino in Charlesburg, West Virginia, and, and are getting quite a few hand pays. Uh, well done. Um, uh, and... Now it says, question now, Pen Play took over all Hollywood casinos and payout is awful. What do you know about this company? Slots are now tight in West Virginia, whereas they were loose a month ago. Um, so uh, uh, Penn National is the owner of Hollywood. Uh, they did not get a new rewards club called Pen Play. They changed the name of their old rewards program to pen play. And that is 
their choice. Now, why would they make such a change? Um, I, I may be a little cynical, having worked in engineering, uh, that uh, exec, new executives come along and just before they move off to their next project, they offer a solution uh, where they don't have to wait for the results, <laughs> uh, good or bad, before they're off on a new job. And so they just offer these ideas as a way to get their next next job and don't have to wait around to execute on it or um, see how it went. They're out of there by that time. So maybe, you know, I, I haven't checked Hollywood Casinos Penn National to see uh, if they've got a new board, if ownership changed. Uh, whoever's got 51% of the interest, that's how you, these, they have investors. And, and if somebody works with other investors to have 51% for their group, uh, they can take over. And some of them are not very good at running casinos. They're there for a quick buck. Uh, and if they're doing this, if it is as you describe, uh, Penn National is um, a pen play. Uh, you know, is making a mistake. There, people are reacting like you describe. They notice these things, and then it's horrible. Yeah, because it's horrible. Uh, Jonathan James says, my local casino in Massachusetts was purchased by another uh, casino company about a month ago. I've noticed a change in the days and times of large winds happening at once. I'm still observing and keeping notes. Um, uh, and, and thank you for your donation. Of $2.99. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, which of the three casinos in Massachusetts are you talking about? Was it MGM? I uh, kind of doubt that. Was it the slots parlor? If you go to, um, uh, once again, if you go to, uh, not that one, I want to go to Massachusetts. Okay, Massachusetts, give me a second. <laughs> Massachusetts slots return the player. Right, I think I, nope, I don't have that one. Do I not have Massachusetts? Ah, plural slots. Okay. Yes, okay, so if I bring that up for you, make myself fairly small here. Right, um, and then this is my report on Massachusetts returns because this is one of the 20 states that have them. This is this is only through October 20, 2022. Um, and the blue line is Plain Ridge. Uh, it is a slots parlor and not a casino with table games. MGM uh, is low down here, and then Encore has been a little better, but they sort of crossed over in the last recorded September 2022 number. You can go look up and see what's going on. But you can see how MGM started high, uh, uh, but then uh, dropped low and stayed there for, what, a year. Uh, <clears throat> but that there's a steady rise in Plain Ridge. Uh, and I do wonder, uh, Plain Ridge. Okay, yeah. So part of the reason why casinos would do something like this, I've, I've seen, is they're trying to get bought so that they get a big payday. You know, it's investors and money and, and uh, you know, if we can make people happy and we can give them money, we can show that our numbers are high and then it makes them more attractive to be bought out. Uh, Plain Rich, I will make a note of that. Thank you, Plain Rich. And I will go see if they've changed the website because if they've changed the name on the outside of the building, then they were actually purchased six months ago because it takes six months to get the sign. Uh, again, <laughs> this is how business works. <laughs> uh, and uh, your casino will be bought, unless it's a tribal casino. And half of them in the United States are tribal casinos. 
uh, commercial casinos. Uh, half of them are commercial and half of them are tribal. So you, if you have a commercial casino near you, they will be bought. It's just a matter of time. Uh, downtown Cincinnati, near where I lived, uh, one of the casinos that I went to uh, was installed in 2013, built and opened. Uh, then it was bought in like 2015, two years later, um, uh, by Jack, uh, which is uh, Michigan Investors, uh, then uh, switched over to a hard rock. Now it's a hard rock. And I think all that happened in like seven years. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, people are signing up for uh, Slots Labs, and I need to give them their information to get started. And I will, <clears throat> you know, I hope to see you soon. Uh, that is it. I will talk to you. Um, I will talk to you uh, later. Uh, what a great live stream. I'll see you next Saturday at noon Eastern. In the meantime, I highly recommend that you watch this video on my advanced course.